Hey guys, Boogs here. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about some new vehicles you might see coming to squad in the near future. This information is either being confirmed or de the developers have just talked about it in the past. So let's start with the United States Marines, since they are going to come in the game in the coming months. But we don't know exactly when. Now here you can see a picture of the LAV 25A2, which if you pay close attention, it looks almost the same as the ASLAV, if not identical. That's because they are the same vehicle. So if you enjoy how the ASLAV works and plays, then you should find this vehicle equally enjoyable since they are likely to perform almost exactly the same in game. There's been some speculation about the Marines not having a main battle tank, but I think that is not the case here. This is a picture taken from the SDK and it has been done by Santi. So shut up about him, he has done an amazing job, it looks fantastic. Here we can see an M1A1 model with a US desert camo pattern already in the game files. This means that they already have it done and ready, so I don't see any point why they wouldn't want to use it. Now here we can take a closer look at the LAV25A2 variant that is going to be added alongside the USMC faction. Which I've said before is pretty much the same as the ASLAV that's already in the game with the Aussie Defence Force, but with some minor differences. It seems like this version will have an open top M240 Bravo machine gun, unlike the Aussie counterpart. Another thing that I'm really excited about is the probability of having an amphibious landing invasion game mode that might be added alongside the faction, similar to the one that is showcased in the video. The gameplay shown is from the Battlefield 2 mod Project Reality and it shows how a LAV-25 is spawning from a carrier to help the infantry capture the landing zone. The site used in the Project Reality LAV-25 might be very similar or identical to the one that we will see in the LAV-25 when it finally comes out. Next up, we're going to have another vehicle that is going to come with the USMC faction and that is the AAV-7A1 Amphibious Assault Vehicle. This vehicle uses the same gun as the M113A3 T-Lav variant that the Canadians use, but with one small difference. Instead of making use of a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, it makes use of a 40mm grenade launcher. It also might have a similar characteristic in terms of tankiness to the Bulldog APC, meaning that it can take a lot of anti-tanks before finally going down. This is by far the vehicle that I am most looking forward to for the USMC faction. We might also see two other vehicles come to squad while we're waiting for the Chinese faction to drop. These being the BMP-2M and the T-90A. The BMP-2M is an upgraded version of the Russian BMP-2 already in the game, which replaces the top Cornet launcher with four ATGM launchers located on the sides of the turret. This makes the vehicle comparable in performance to the Bradley IFV. The BMP-2M will become the standard IFV for the Russian forces, while the BMP-2 will be probably be relegated to the MEA only. The T-90A is also another vehicle that has been thrown onto the table, but the developers have mentioned in the past that it is actually less capable of an MBT compared to the current used T-72B3, which would make this a redundant addition to the game since it will be worse in most respects to the T-72B3. Finally, let's talk about the Chinese faction that might come to the game as early as late 2022 or early 2023. This faction will make use of some interesting vehicles that could spice up the meta a little bit. First, the ZTZ-99A MBT. This MBT will perform very similarly to the T-72B3 that is already in the game, so if you enjoy that particular tank, you'll definitely enjoy this one. Another interesting addition is the ZBD-04 IFV. This Chinese IFV is a copy of the BMP-3 and it makes use of a 100mm gun with a coaxial 30mm autocannon. The 100mm main gun is also capable of using ATGMs, similar to how the T-72B3 can use a reflex ATGM. Finally, we have the ZBL-08 APC, which resembles in a lot of ways the BTR-82A since it makes use of the 30mm autocannon and it will have a similar manoeuvrability to its Russian counterpart. This vehicle will also make use of Generation 1 ATGMs, two of them in fact. These ATGMs will perform slightly similarly to the ones used by the BMP-1, meaning that they are going to be really slow and hard to aim. Okay guys, thanks for listening. Please make sure you leave a like, drop a comment with what vehicle you are most looking forward to that's going to be added to the game. Take care folks, Boogs out.